Hello there, my name is Ismaus. Welcome to uh, another Blender tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at how to make this crosshair uh, ceiling. Uh, so uh, this is going to be a two-part series. Uh, the first part is me just explaining to you how to make this uh, ceiling and maybe modeling out uh, the the entire hallway. And then in part two, I won't be explaining anything. I'll just be doing, uh, I'll just put on background music and then continue with the, yeah, with the modeling part. Uh, just uh, because, uh, the hard part here is just making this uh, ceiling, uh, this type of ceiling. So let's dive in and get started. So I'll just reset my cursor. And uh, so what I usually like to do is uh, find the reference image just so that I have the right uh, size. And uh, so to make this curve here, I'm going to start with this curve here. And uh, what you can do is add a mesh. Uh, what is it? A cylinder mesh. I will scale it just so its radius matches the radius of the curve like that. And now I can go to edit mode, select these down vertices. What view am I in? Let me rotate this so that it's oriented, so that is facing me directly, not facing up. So I will just select everything, rotate them in the x direction, 90 degrees. So what I, what I want to do is delete this down part, so shift, uh, so delete that. Now I can go to front mode and select these vertices, then extrude them down uh, to the height of that door. So we have something like that, and now we are done with that. So to make this crosshair, uh, we can select these vertices here, move the pivot point to, this, to that edge because we're going to be using the mirror modifier uh, to do this. So shift S, shift S, cursor to selected, and then select everything, origin to 3D cursor. Now we can turn on the mirror modifier. Uh, we can find what direction is this. So I think our object orientation is off is different from our uh, from the global orientation so if you look at this if we go to local you can see the y-axis is pointing up instead of the other way instead of it being the z-axis pointing up so i can apply let me first go to local and apply scale and rotation so that i have those axes point matching the the global axis so i'll go back to global you can see the same uh, just so that i have the right orientation and now <coughs> you can see our mirror. So if I go to edit mode, um, let me see, you can see our mirror starts here. So instead of using this, inst instead of using the pivot point as uh, the mirror axis, I'm just going to add an object as the mirror object here. So I'll go, I'll make sure that it's centered there. The cursor is that uh, med median point there. Then shift A, add an empty. This is going to act as our mirror object so that we can rotate uh, the mirror uh, so that it's not just directly uh, reflecting as uh, so that the, ref the, the symmetry the symmetry is not direct as it is right now so I'll just go to the object modifier here and then select uh, this empty as our mirror object so now I can rotate this 45 degrees to have uh, this at an angle and now if I select this object uh, we have this new option called bisect and uh, if you bisect the same angle mirror axis here you can see we get something like that and uh, we are done so now we just need to apply uh, the mirror modifier so sometimes you might see that uh, this is not uh, it may not look uh, exactly as this try to use this flip uh, flip option here so if we show if you turn on bisect and it's rendering like this just turn on flip here so that it flips it uh, so that you get this like this I'm not sure how it works but uh, I found that uh, sometimes when I turn on bisect it was rendering uh, like this so but I want uh, the opposite of this which is uh, this so now we can apply the mirror modifier and we are remaining with this so now you can come in again and delete these other parts so that you remain with just uh, this here. 
and that's what we, we need. So now we can delete this mirror object as well, and then again apply another mirror modifier on top of this. So you see we have that, and uh, also make it mirror in the y-axis as well. So you can see this is what we have. So we can just position our camera somewhere here. And I maybe change the dimension. So I'll make this 1080 by 1920. Just so we get the same aspect ratio. Now we can add uh, the array. I'll just mirror this in this direction so that it is something like that. And you can see what we have. So we can turn on smooth, uh, smooth objects, sorry, smooth, uh, the smooth modifier, smooth shading, and uh, we can also select this edge here and then bevel that. We give it three vertices like that. See what we have. <coughs> It does look like there is this curves at the top as well. Let me see how. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. If you have this, I think that's it. We might need to reduce this. I think it curves up a bit. So if we add a few vertices here, we can select. Let me see. Proportion or anything. I think that's a bit too much. Or we can just select this center that says. change uh, the fall of sphere to sphere. I don't even sure if it if it's supposed to be like this. I don't know if it's how I'm seeing it, but it seems like uh, there is a curvature in here. Maybe it's Maybe it's just a camera illusion. I don't know. But uh, that's how you make those crosshair. So I, I can turn on clipping here and I might these what says at the center. Let me turn off proportional editing. I can begin with this here, pull it to the center like that. And we are good to go. Now we can edit these here. <coughs> I think we can apply uh, the mirror again here, not the array, the mirror again, and uh, delete this side. So that we can start adding some detail here. So I can turn this into a face and set that, uh, delete this bottom face. And I'll select these so that they are all aligned on the same level and then extrude out like that. 
you can go to the settings here uh, under normals turn on auto smooth so that we, we retain those sharp corners maybe if you want you can add bevels a bevel like that to make it more smooth and uh, yes yeah, so in part two since we are already done I've shown you how to do this uh, in part two we'll come on we'll come in and uh, start adding more details and texturing lighting and everything else uh, thank you for watching we just turn on the mirror modifier here uh, make sure it's behind so this is supposed to be on the other side you can see this is how everything looks just need to put a flow like so yeah thank you for watching